Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. In this video, we will be jailbreaking iOS 17.6 and this method should work on all devices supported by the Palerain jailbreak and we will be performing the rootful jailbreak and I will also show you how you can install Cydia and Troll Store 2 after the successful jailbreak. Also, you will be able to set your passcode while you are jailbroken and the method shown in this video is completely free we will be using palerain 2.0 and it should work on all your windows computers so first of all head to the official website for the palerain jailbreak and then hit download and then select other pc scroll down to get the iso files to be flash to the flash drive so you will see two files x8664 is for the 64-bit computers and the other one is for 32-bit computers you mostly have 64-bit computers now so get the file accordingly or you can also visit the official github page for palenix and in releases you can get the same files but make sure that you use version 1.1.6 or higher because any older version will not work with iOS 17.6 or higher jailbreak. Now, once you got the file, simply use Rufus. Rufus is also completely free to flash the ISO file to your flash drive. So simply get Rufus. All right. So once you get the Palenix ISO file and Rufus simply open Rufus and then connect a USB flash drive. I am using this 2GB USB flash drive. Simply drag and drop Palenix onto Rufus. You don't have to change anything here. Simply hit start and make sure you select right in DD image mode and then hit OK. Please make sure that you back up all your data on this USB flash drive because it will be erased hit ok and wait for the process to finish this will take a few seconds once it is complete you will see ready here now simply restart the pc and boot from this usb flash drive All right so after restarting the computer go to the boot manager you can press f8 or f12 depending on your computer's manufacturer and you'll see your usb flash drive here and if it does not work, please make sure the secure boot and fast boot are disabled in BIOS. And then simply select the USB flash drive you just created and wait for the Palenix to load. Now simply attach your device via USB and you will see this message. Hit on trust. And then simply select shell all right you will see this linux shell here then type pale pale rain hyphen cf if you want to perform rootful and if you want to perform rootless hyphen lowercase l will work so we are performing rootful in this video so hyphen cf all right and then press enter and it will get your device into recovery mode first and then from there we will get it into dfu all right so as you can see my device is in recovery i will press enter and get my device into dfu you can simply do it by following the instructions so the first command will create fake fs all right oh well, you can see it entered dfu successfully and the process is now ongoing and you can see that it will take 10 minutes to create the fake fs and you can see it on my device so we will wait for the process to finish you will see this line here on your device all right guys so after creating the fake fs my device automatically booted into recovery mode now on palenix control c 
and you will see this prompt again now type pale rain hyphen f all right then hit enter and then press enter to enter into dfu mode again so it will now boot the created fake fs all right so the process is ongoing and the device now should boot into normal mode as you can see it right here and in a moment you will see the pale rain boot screen all right so here it is which means that it booted up correctly all right as you can see the device booted up and i can see the pale rain loader we will set it up later in this video but first let's get to windows first so control c again then type exit press enter then go to reboot press enter again and then remove the usb flash drive and you'll get back to windows in a moment all right all right guys so we are at the device my wi-fi is connected i will open the parent loader and from there first of all i will install Celio. simply tap it and then install Celio and wait for the installation to finish now simply set a passcode of your choice for sudo hit set and you will see Celio in, on your home screen in a moment all right as you can see it right here it is installed let's open it and first of all see the version you can see the version i use 17.6 and it is root 4 simply go to packages and we will perform an upgrade first hit done all right so guys to fix the mobile substrate error which you might see on the root 4 jailbreak when you try to install a tweak make sure you go to sources and add the source allocate dot space if it is not installed you can add this source by hitting this plus button typing it here and then hitting add source now from allocate source or repo go to all categories and install allocate once installed simply do a user space reboot all right so after doing this user space reboot now again open Cilio and install preference loader by searching for it so that you can see your installed tweaks in settings once done hit done now you are ready to install your tweaks now i will show you how you can install cdia simply open safari and head to the link which you will find in the description or in the pinned command it is completely free it is a cdr deb file all right hit download and then get it to your device simply tap it and then hit share then share it to seal you you will see this cdr installer hit on get you will see queued and then hit confirm to install cdr all right now hit done and now when you go back you will see cdia on your home screen let's open it and see if it works fine yes you can see the version everything works you can upgrade your packages so i will go to changes and then upgrade all the return to cdia button is not working so what you will do is you will cancel or close cdia from the task switcher now again open cdia and you can see everything works without any problem now guys let's install troll store 2 i will be using cdia so to show you that yes you can install packages so go to search and search for troll store helper all right simply install this package then simply swipe and you will see troll helper 
Using this, you can install Troll Store 2 on your jailbroken device. And you can see it worked just fine. And I can see Troll Store on my home screen. And I can open it, install Eldit, and everything should work without any problem here. And yes, you will be able to set a passcode while you are jailbroken. You can see no panic, no problems. All right, so the passcode is set and you can see I am in the jailbroken state. Everything works without any problem. And of course, troll store should work. And you can see the version of my device firmware here. And the parent loader, you can see it is root for. And if you want to now go back to stock, you can open the loader and then hit clean fake FS. After cleaning the fake FS, the device will reboot and the jailbreak is now completely removed. These are only the leftover icons. You can put them in a folder to hide them. That's all for this video. If you still have questions, please ask in the comment section and I will reply you as soon as possible. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care.